Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where I did really just now, really quick, read the comments that were on the first part of the, the, the series. Um, and you guys are all very excited and I appreciate it. And I was told to loot everything, but I don't think that's what was meant. Um, because, and I was reminded that I have a really awesome sword that I've totally actually forgot about. Uh, where you be? Uh, Iris. My steel sword. Um, which is apparently, and I remember people saying this vaguely, that it's one of the best swords in the game. Or maybe the best steel sword in the game until you get your Grandmaster stuff. Which apparently is going to cost a whole free, like I knew this, I also have been warned about this. It's going to cost a whole heck ton of money. Put her in there. Uh, so we got the burning going on. Uh, sign intensity. Oopsie. Um. Ooh, chance to stun. Heck yeah. And five percent chance to freeze. Yeah. Fire, burning, stunning, doom. Heck yes. All right. So I'm probably gonna need to sell like all of this stuff. New moon. Um, because it's going to apparently cost a lot of money. Um, did I already say that? I already said that. It's fine. Um, which is good. Where is it? Where is Iris at? Like, repair-wise. Should be fine. Yeah! wonder if I could sell that. So I have to loot everything. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, why not? We'll just use it for now. Because I'm probably going to stumble upon something before I'm able to get to a place that can fix it. Oh, look at this place. Apparently, there's like a ton of hidden stuff in the area, too. So we just got to take our time, which is how I love doing things. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. So all we're counting on is victory. No one didn't think about Shepard not except that he had come from the south in dark armor and had a shield bearing 64 black and white squares. When the herald trumpeted the signal, the knights charged each other. Gottfried's lance shattered against the chessboard knight's shield, and the mysterious knight swayed in his saddle. No mere mortal could have survived such a blow, yet the chessboard knight did not fall from his horse, but instead struck a blow of his own on the next pass, knocking Gottfried to the ground. The victor approached his defeated foe, stuck out his hand, and helped him stand. Before the herald could announce his victory, he took off his helm and all beheld his eyes of coal and face of burnt cinders. I have come from a long time past to remind you of humility, which is a long forgotten virtue. My name was consumed by dragon fire when I perished, victim of my own pride. After saying these words, the chessboard knight rode off. No one stopped him, yet they repeat his warning to this day. Mm. I figure I might read the things, because, um... Maybe there will be secrets in there. Do you know anything? No? What is it? Loop. Ooh. Let's see. Loop everything. Ugh. To take the... Alright, sorry about that. Stupid little notification pops up all the time. Hello? Do you seek someone? I do! I think. No, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure tears and wine go together, but. You know, whatever. Oh, uh, we have a notice board. My dog's gone missing with the white with the black patch on his eye. Answers to Spot. That is, he comes running when I call him Spot. If you find Spot, bring him to the cockatrice inn. The innkeep knows me. Spot 2. 
The White Wolf. Whoa! The witcher Geralt Arivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, you should go to Count Belladal's temporary base camp in Toussaint. Note, we kindly request all other persons not present themselves at said camp under the pretense of being Geralt Arivia. Count Belladal was not born yesterday, and you can easily tell who is a witcher and who is faking it. All those journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with wooden swords strapped to their backs can save themselves with trouble and turn back. Notice from the Ducal Camerlengo. I'm going to probably butcher anything that even remotely sounds French, so forgive me for that. Calling all knights errant and other strongmen. The duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bounteous rewards are in the offing. More details available at the Ducal Camerlengo's offices on Knights Dormant Square. Announcement from the Office of Internal Rev- Ugh, I'm already bored. Eh, government sucks, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, blah, 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 what, something about auctions. Uh, minor problems are expected to arise during the conflict, blah, blah, uh, blah, yeah, okay. Uh, the great Beauclair, Beauclair, Beauclair? Boo Claire. Uh, Gwent tournament. Cool. Two of Witcher or. Two of Witcher or Witchers. The Boo Claire Cooper's Guild is seeking an individual or individuals willing to escort a merchant convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. More information can be obtained from Gaston Legoff at the merchant's camp in the forest to the north of Coronata Vineyard. Malgram Poulain, Undersecretary for Threats and Risk Management, <laughs> Buclair Cooper's Guild. <laughs> I love the name. Such fancy, like, flowery names. And, like, such titles, like, that you wouldn't think would actually Angel exist. looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Doggy! Dog, 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 dog. Wow, I mean, seriously, this place is, like, really super colorful. I'm gonna have to do some of these quests probably for um for Moolah. Hmm. Wait, what? Do you have a name? Mm -hmm. Guardsman. I actually don't know which way I'm going. I'm supposed to go this one. The water is so pretty. All is in order. Hey, can I talk to you? Peace and prosperity. Oh, thank you, man. I'm just gonna take my time and look at things. I should probably find a merchant of some sort and sell what the some of the things I have. Oh wow, look at this look at the steel sword though. That's really pretty. I really like the Ifrit swords. They're really pretty. But this one in particular is a beauty. Sounds of a fight. Have to hurry. What? Oh yeah, he said he was gonna get mad. Sounds like a fire. What? Uh, whoa. Oh! Killer must still be here. They just got. Are these guardsmen? Throat torn open by man like jaws. Man like. Except for long things. Vampire! 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 Instant ribs. Blood from the ears. Took a solid hit. Massacred by a vampire. Ooh, a Next fully pushed vampire! Alexa, gotta be. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 Woo! Okay, not a fully fledged vampire, apparently. But... Oh, hey, look. It's a vampire! Look at that, the beast of Buclair. Uh. Okay, hey, 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 Dragon is. What did we have in here? The Dragon of Fears doll. I never did that one. Did I? Mm. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
Yay. Ah, interesting air at the bottom. Necrophage. Oh, I wonder if it's the new, um, Skurver. Thought it was just a pile of rotten meat till it started to move. T-Bot from Buclair. Skurvers are rot fiends larger cousins. The bodies of these hideous, vaguely humanoid creatures are covered with rotten scraps of flesh, under which lurk even more rotten muscles stretched around a strong, flexible skeleton. Skurvers fed on, which feed on old, rotting corpses, prefer to make their hunting grounds and abandoned torture sites, forgotten graveyards, and old battlefields. They are very aggressive, and though they feed on corpses, if they come across a living person, they are likely to attack. Thus, when wandering near any of the above-mentioned places, one must be especially cautious. Scurvers usually feed underground, but sometimes when they catch the scent of a human, they crawl to the surface in a matter of seconds and attack their potential prey. So, elves and dwarves are exempt. <laughs> no, they're not, but they're just using the, the general human term. While fighting them, one cannot afford to forget about their b special bony spines, razor-sharp protuberances sticking out from their skeletons. When a scurver is near death, the gases and enzymes gathered within its body cause it to explode. Fleeing these spines at a great speed, turning them into the last, one last deadly weapon in their arsenal. To protect oneself against these spines, one should make prodigious use of the Quen sign. They are nasty. Mm, Golia. According to legend, Golia. I'm trying to look at the face now. Listen. Had once been a knight who violated his, violated his vows, for which he was punished by the Lady of the Lake. Transformed into a giant, he fled into the mountains and only descended into the inhabited lowlands when hunger forced him to it. There's no knowing how much truth lies in that legend, yet it is incontrovertible fact that this dangerous giant gobbled up shepherds and sheep alike and was so widely feared, governesses used him to scare children into eating their vegetables. Though he came across as a wild, unthinking beast, Goliath used simple tools and any item could turn into a deadly weapon in his powerful hands. When fighting Geralt, Goliath wielded a millstone, making his every blow truly crushing. Luckily, Geralt already has some experience slaying giants and blah, 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 blah. Yay, happy ending. Vampires! Whoa! Are they always women? If you must travel through the woods, steer clear of any places where you can hear several different kinds of birds at once. That means you're entering a Bruxa's territory and can kiss your life farewell. Fortunately for us all, Brux are rare creatures. Most live far from population centers, for they care greatly for their own safety and make their lairs in places where they cannot be taken by surprise. Those who decide to live near men avoid crowds and emerge from their shelters only at night. When they do, one could almost mistake them for delayed travelers hurrying towards their night's lodgings. Yet subtle details give them away. Their close ties to birds, their piercing voices, and their breathtaking speed of their movements. Brux are far swifter and stronger than men, but their greatest asset is their ability to turn invisible! Brooks that dart about with uncanny speed, and with their power of invisibility, they can easily confuse opponents and attack unexpectedly or from behind. Thus, when fighting these vampires, the moon dust bomb is of great aid. While it cannot eliminate the vampire's invisibility altogether, it can make it easier to track its motions. A generous smearing of vampire oil is also effective. I should have gotten my sword fixed more than I did. Brooks that use their sharp claws to attack and can easily break through an opponent's guard by buffeting him with a hail of blows from all directions. They will try to bite their prey and drink its blood once it is weakened, so every witcher who expects to encounter such a monster should swallow- Oh, good idea! I forgot about that! A black blood potion beforehand. Brooks are also known for their sonic attacks, which knock down and stun their prey. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Why did Yuridin- does that make them less in, less visible? Look, she's covering her, her nipples with her arm. How how kind of her. Oh, creepy. They're like, um... Oh, what were they? One of the high harpies, but... More human and vampire. <laughs> hmm. Maybe more elven. Maybe, 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 maybe. All right. world is a vampire man in it. I don't think. Yeah, I only have a couple superiors. Necrophage, Ogrid, Relic, Elementia, Beast, Vampire. And I will swallow some black blood. What a good idea. It's right here, right? Heck yeah. Drink it. Oh wait, um, uh, let's just, dang it. Heck yeah. 
All right, we're also gonna maybe have a couple, wait, mm, how much does black blood do? Uh, oh, 15, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. That one might be good. Low and blah, 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 cloudy. It's not cloudy, it's super... Oh, let's do the stun and knockback one. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Increases critical hit chance. Oh, I might. Do I already have it equipped on accident? Yes, I do. Um, okay, quick. Replace it with. Six. I think I want. I want the vitality one. Damage dealt to foes, or the. Ooh. The one that re that regenerates. Yeah. Can I have one more? Dang it. All right, that's fine. I did not know that there were so many different kinds of vampires in them. Like this is all based on like Polish like legend and mythology and like holy crap, they've made so many different kinds of vampires. Like not just like it is a vampire. It's like, well, what kind? There's like 10. Um, crap, I don't have a lot of my regeneration potions left. Let's see, where's the one? That one there. That's the killer whale, right? Oh no. Oh, wow! Increases maximum vitality. Could I have that one? Heck yeah, King! Toxicity's going out the roof! Okay. I think I've done what I can. Whoops. Let's see if I actually do have a silver sword. That would be better. I doubt it a little bit, but... Ooh, that's a cool looking one, though. And I'm gonna want Yurden, apparently. Black blood and moon dust. Moon dust! Could be lifesavers. That's right. That's right. Moon dust, moon dust. I knew there was something else I needed. Nope. Let's see. Moon dust. Uh, Do I have it? I think I actually already have it equipped. Right there. All right. All right. Moon dust. And Yerden. Oh. Can I just examine Killed it? with a single blow. Okay. I don't want to go down. No, don't make me. Yeah, I want to look around. So, is this what's killing people? Like, is this beast? This Bruxa? Is it locked? Let me in. Okay. So, I would assume that a Bruxa does not want to be discovered. Oh, I was gonna say! Okay, okay, okay! I was gonna say, because earlier there was that little cutscene, and there were all these pigeons. I could see the pigeons anyway, and I was like, that's so weird that there's, like, pigeons here, because, like, 
what they'd probably be scared away by something you know at least something so violent you know like they wouldn't have been here they'd come later the crows or the ravens i could see coming down but like i mean these people just died right like you wouldn't really have time to like gather all these birds but look at all that's what it said in the thing it's what it said in the, the entry about bruxa that they have different kinds of birds that follow them whoa in the cellar gotta be of course Footprints. Small bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. Um, wigged out. It's fine. I'm wigged out. I'm wigged out. Used it's fine. To down the grate. Use the man to batter down the grate? Oh my god. A lot of strength to batter this down. <laughs> They were all drink. They were drinking or something. I'm, right, I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm gonna keep talking because otherwise I'm gonna freak you. Thank you for the cutscene because a cutscene is a lot easier than just having a monster jump me. Oh, that's gross. That's really gross. Yeah, I'm you a little gross there. Saw you at the inn. Oh. Oh. I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. What kind of hand is that? Do you just eat human flesh? Like, or do you suck their blood? We don't have to fight. So they're really intelligent then, too. They're not just... You are wrong. Oh! <sighs> not just in the guise of a human. Invisible! I cannot let you leave. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, she's already like. Wait, come here, come here. Come into the circle, yes. Alright, hold on. Now I gotta fix my. Oh, wait, dang it. I gotta fix my armor. That was a big blow. And or my armor just hasn't been needed to be fixed in a really long time. Let's just do the master's repair kit. Yes, please. Come on. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, whoopsie. Oh, dang, I have the wrong one. Oops. Dang it, how do I... Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! Put it down! Put it down, Daryl! Where'd she go? Come closer! Circle of safety. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm out of moon dust. You were fast! Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. She's taking some sort of extra effect damage. Woo! Get! Oh, what? Oh, get! Should not back up. I did not back a vial! I did! I did! But does it wear off? Oh, it probably it, it wore off. Did it, it did? I just didn't. Oh crap! I didn't notice. It did. It wore off. Uh. Okay, inventory. Yeah. 
He says that so casually after like getting his neck sucked on. Did she like not suck my blood? Like, oh, I made the dodge. Lady, you are nearly dead. Lady, how are you freaking come here and bite me? Do it, bite me. The thing is almost done. Black blood, black blood is almost done. How are you still alive? Come here. her nature, right? Uh, I can only assume that there are Bruxa uh, killing people, stinks. I guess? Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Well, and the weird thing is, is that, um... I could tell from the hands, and if he said that both hands are amputated, it's very surgical. Like, it's almost symmetrical how it's been done, but it, there's a slight difference in that you can, if I had my mouse, I could do it. You see on the, on our right side, the, the angle kind of goes from the right to the left, but like, uh, like in a slant. You know, so I guess if you started at the top of the guy's body, it would be a right slant. And at the bottom, on his feet, there's a slant from the top right to the bottom left. So this guy, it looks almost like precise surgical is what I was thinking at first, but seeing there's an angle at which they've been cut. So it looks like a giant great sword, just like whoosh, and then like whoosh, like came back, you know, like did like a big arc basically where they came up around one side and then like circled back down and chopped off the legs or something like that, or like circled up from the legs and then you know, up to the head, basically. That's cool. Because the head's not cut off. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Fishies. Hmm. Something in the throat. Oh, did he take a bribe? Elf guardian Florence, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. So are they actually being targeted for like, uh, for a wrong they did or something, you know what I mean? Body was chopped up after death. Oh! Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into I can see those cuts heart. now from from there, no, but Bruxa did this. Oh, oh, okay. The Bruxa looked like she had long claws, though. Third hand, the spare. Uh, it is a Except weird hand. Clearly not the victims. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm, blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs. <laughs> or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. No, don't keep that! Do not keep that in there! Don't put it in your pocket! Don't do that! 
It's gonna grab your butt! So, Murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? Who does that she hand caressed the hand too, you but know? It's still warm. Now, how it shoved down the victim's oh. throat. What's the significance? Why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. I love how Geralt talks to himself. Like, I know that he's, I know that if he didn't, we would be like, kind of clueless. But, uh, I just think it's freaking hilarious that he just, I mean, he literally just unashamedly talks to himself. Oh, hey. Yeah, repair kit. But I think it's for my armor. Whoop. 